Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I have a unboxing here. Before we get into this, we need to shout out the Patreons. Okay, dokie. So first off, I would like to give a shout out to my mail lady. Thank you very much for bringing my packages to my doorstep when, you know, Trapper 2 is a complete jerk face and barks up a storm. I had no clue what this was, so I ripped it open and then I seen what it was and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I know what it is. So, the male lady... She's the sweetheart. She asked me if I was missing a painting because she found a painting in one of the return bins at the post office. And I was like, I'm not missing anything that I'm aware of. And she's like, okay. She's all you like. Um, or she said, she told Trapper, I'm bringing your daddy gifts. And I said, yeah, my YouTube channel likes gifts. And then she says, oh, you got YouTube channel? So we talked for a minute. And she left. And Trapper Dew the whole time was being a complete jerk face. Growling at her. Barking at her. Yeah. Anyways. So. We have a. Um, uh, I guess you call it a bat unboxing. This was in the box. So. This comes to us from. Amazon. This comes to us by. Run. Run far. I've seen a couple people on a uh, box this product, and I've seen this painting, and I had to have it. Had to have it. Oh my god, is that just not gorgeous? So, I believe this painting was $19.99. Um, I'm not sure if it was a round or a square because I don't really believe that the website said it was round or square. Okay. 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 Um, we got squares. Woohoo! I like squares. Oh, woohoo! It even came with gold washi tape. <laughs> and it is poured glue, so I'm just going to give this a little... A little Backwards roll it action so it flattens out a little bit better. I know this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Let me straighten you guys up here. Oh, look how gorgeous that painting is. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at the toolkit. So, you get... The white Mosfa boat. And it says Mosfa. That's the nicer boat, in my opinion. You get a six placer, a nine placer, and a single placer, and a clear pin. The clear pins, I've had lots of people asking me about the clear pins. I donate my clear pins to one of my crafty sisters who does. Diamond Painting Pins, either uh, Purple Door Crafts or Sister Crashly. Comes with the blue squishy. What? They, 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 they hook you up, man. You get a, a three placer. Two chunks of blue wax. Like, I've never seen hardly anybody give out blue wax. And a extremely sharp pair of tweezers. They're not quite the full size like these guys, but hey, tweezers are tweezers, you know? Okay, I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to take a, take a peek at this. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys washi tape. It gives you a chunk of gold washi tape. It uh, should be more than enough to section off this canvas if I wanted to section it off, which my method of sectioning off a canvas, I just did a sectioning video uh, the other day. So my opinion on sectioning off canvases is 
It depends on how bad confetti heavy the canvas is. If it is extreme confetti, then yes, I will section off my canvas. But if it's a majority of color blocking, I'll just leave the canvas exactly the way it is and I'll just pull back a corner and start painting. But I do really prefer to section off the painting. That's my preferred method. I feel, me personally, I feel like I get a lot more done when I section a painting. So I'm just going to run this over, make sure I got all the air bubbles out. There was a couple creases underneath of the, the canvas. It wasn't in the or underneath the clear cover. It wasn't in the canvas. So I just wanted to make sure it was laid nice and flat. Okay. This side up here just does not want to look flat. Let's get that a little flattening. There we go. Oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so it says run far. Has no schematic at the top corner, but as you do go down, it puts over a schematic with 20 colors. Who the frick call me? Shut up. I love that song. Up church! Uh, and then you have your schematic here with the picture and your DMC colors, which is awesome, and your symbols, which look like they're all really nice. Down here it has a lifetime warranty. Wow, I've never seen a lifetime warranty on any painting. Run Far Group on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so I will have to give them a follow. It says it is a 40 by 50, and there is the canvas code. Well, let's see if it's a 40 by 50. Where is my tape measure? Found it. On the floor. Thanks to Mary Jane. She, she loves to knock stuff off of my workspace and throw it on the floor. So this is actually dead on 40. Man. But one line under cannot beat that. And this way, we got just maybe one little teeny tiny line under 50. So, to me, that is true to size. Because, like they always say, give them an extra centimeter. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Ah, this is really cool. Gives you a checklist. It gives you a picture. Isn't that just great? Gorgeous. Ugh. It gives you your square diamonds, colors, your schematic, everything that should come with your kit, and I don't really see why you need these. I mean, it's nice that they give them, don't get me wrong. It is definitely nice that they give them. But as you see here, they're already in baggies and they're already numbered. So, this is just a bonus that they hand those out. So, let's go ahead and take a peek at these diamonds. Let me find the entrance here. So, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I am actually getting ready to leave here shortly, so I'm trying to get a couple of videos recorded. Uh oh, got some loose diamonds in there. Hopefully, I don't have a bag open. So, 
The only thing I would that I would say that needs to be changed is DMC numbers should be on the bag. But it don't really matter because it is on the canvas. So if you look, it says number two, you go to number two, 310. So at least it is on the canvas. So there is our first two colors. Some beautiful blues and some goldish brown. Some more beautiful blues and gray. Lots of blues in this canvas, which I am not complaining one bit. Beautiful blues. These diamonds, from what I can see, look extremely nice. I don't see a single bump or hole in the bottom. Nub, whatever you want to call them. Oh, shit. I found it. There is a hole in the back of the bag. Okay. Let me grab some tape. Good thing for a rolling chair. Roll back and forth. Okay, I'm going to take some scotch tape. Oh, sorry. I just bumped you guys. I'm just going to put a piece of tape right over top of that hole. Seal that in. And try to save as much of these as possible because I do not want to come up short. Alrighty. Okay, got the piece of tape on there, good to go, number 16, this is a really dark, dark, 16, yeah, 939, that's why, two beautiful blues, grays, colors, some more dark blue, oh, this is a double bag, so there is two 939s. Good to know. So when I count. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All of our colors are there in one piece. That one bag did have a little bit of a wear and tear on it, but that looked like it was just from the two bags kind of rubbing together, and it broke it open a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the symbol quality. Very nice, very clean, crisp. I like it. This one symbol, let me see if I could get it to show up. Uh, it's an A. Okay, so I was worried about that because there's an A and a K, and as you see, Right there, they're both almost the same color, but you can tell them apart. So, oh my god, isn't that just gorgeous? It does have extremely light, faint lines for your squares to write on. And you only see that in the lighter colors. You don't really see it in the dark because, you know, the darker lines cover so that's the run far painting of the day i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate each and every one of you if you're new to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe ring that notification bell so you know when i post videos and that is three days a week 
and alive on Saturday, but during hunting season, I go live on Monday. Uh, October 25th is the last day of hunting season, so after that weekend, I will be back to my normal Saturday live, and we got some fun stuff coming, y'all. So, that's all for today. Have your peace, your love, and respect for all, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.